Okay, we're just going to look at multiplying trinomials uh, that are not simply x plus something times x minus something or whatever. So they don't just have an x in each corner. They have, say, a 2x or a 3x, okay, and so on. And so these are different. And, and it's it's multiplying them is, is the same, but um, going backwards and factorizing the resulting trinomial is more difficult. So we'll see this now. So if I multiply 2x plus 3 times x plus 1, 2x times x, of course, gives me 2x squared, right? I mean, it's 2x times x. And, of course, x times x is uh, x squared. All right, so that's 2x squared. 2x times 1, of course, gives me 2x. 3 times x, of course, is just 3x, and 3 times 1 is 3. So if I add like terms, this should be 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. All right? What we need to notice about this example is the fact that if I wanted to go backwards and to factorize this and get and, and then come up with these two factors, it's not as we cannot use the short method. I cannot do this. I can't just go three is one times three and what two numbers multiply to three and add to five. <laughs> this isn't going to work. See, one plus three equals four, not five, so you're stuck. So just realize that you cannot go back with the short method. You've got to do some You've got to do the long method. In fact, you've got to go back to this step and then back to here. So that's in the next lesson. Okay, now try example two. Press pause and multiply it. So we go 2x times 3x. Now 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. Then, um, you know, 2x times negative 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so that's minus 10x. And then we go uh, negative 1 times 3x gives me negative 3x. Then negative 1 times negative 5 gives me a positive 5. Then I add like terms to get 6x squared. And 10 bad guys and 3 bad guys gives 13 bad guys, negative 13x plus 5. And the thing to notice about this is, once again, if I factor uh, 5, to be say one times five okay now I cannot find two numbers that add to negative 13 and multiply to five okay so the short method does not work at all here it didn't work for the other one either right okay but the trick is the trick is and you're gonna see it soon is when you have a number in front of the x squared term like two or six you use the what I call the long method and that's in the next lesson and look two times three is six now if I list the pairs of factors, 1 times 6, 2 times 3, now 2 and 3 add to 5. So I use positive 2 and positive 3, and I actually get back to this step, and then from here I go back to here. Okay, so look, 2 and 3. And similarly here, 6 times 5 is actually 30, and if I list the pairs of factors, eventually I get 2 times 15 is equal to 30, and then, you know, if I had a positive 2 and a negative uh, 15, these would then add to give negative 13, and then that's how you work it out. So it's, it's more complicated, and that's in the next video. It's easy to multiply through, but it's more complicated to go backwards, okay? So in, in, in any case, you know, obviously this is the answer, 6x squared minus 13x plus 5. That's the answer, but I'm just saying to go backwards, there's more work to be done there, okay?